All right, we're going into our next match. Uh, Black Mamba versus Lars the Journey. Let's see. Three, two, one, go! Oh, wow. Really strong forward air, literally from behind Roy. Just immediately coming in. Yeah, that's something that happens a lot is uh, when you're playing Terry, sometimes you just give up yeah. stage control by mistake by uh, misinputting a dash away. Yeah, Mamba already putting in some impressive amount of percent, but he is fighting Roy, who can definitely get some really strong strings in when he's played well. Yeah, Bars is playing super cautious. You can tell like he's looking out for power dunks. He's trying to just scope out like some kind of small hit to hopefully go into a larger combo. But yeah, man, that does not a great full air from Bars. Uh, Black model with the awesome parry. Honestly, coming through clutch. And yeah, Bars getting the uh, the noodly end of the sword. Uh, Roy with that uh, really odd mechanic. Oh, and a very well spaced, um, <laughs> a really well spaced uh, up B from Black Mamba. Uh, Bar is immediately giving him space and calling out the uh, Buster Wolf and getting a really solid F smash to finish off the first slot. Well, Black Mamba going for an interesting, uh, like Bar said, uh, the eyes that uh, that up it perfectly. Whoa! Okay. Getting those meaty hits. Let's go. All right, good. Good drop down into grab. You can see like Black Mamba's just looking for those big hits, uh, not necessarily relying on his uh, on the specials. And Bars managing to cross him up, get behind him, and just do a great F smash. Just second time that a uh, that Roy's F smash barely cleaning out the stock. Bars holding a solid lead. Uh, Mamba barely making it back. He's gotta be careful. Expecting a J there, but he went for just a regular old forward air out of the uh, the jab. And Black Mamba, he has go, so he can definitely turn. He'll definitely turn this match around just by playing smart for the next few seconds. And there goes the first stock from Bars. Black Mamba being very afraid to uh, to commit right now. You gotta play this uh, this matchup smart and make sure that uh, you don't approach too quickly when Roy has you in this kind of percentage. Uh, he can't kill you unless you get super close to him, and he does have some good options uh, to force an approach. But if you're super cautious, you can get some decent percent on Roy. Be careful. Of course, uh, at this percent, most things will do it. Um, Roy not really having many kill throws, maybe 15-20% more before up throw starts killing. And a Buster Wolf Super Armor coming through. Uh, Bars might be almost at the point where you can just, get, just go for the up throw and just finish it off like that. 200%, okay. You see Black Mamba's spacing of the, uh, the up throw to avoid the counter is really good. Oh, and that up B out of shield is definitely going to be it. Bar is uh, coming with a great amount of patience, making sure to uh, really pick his shots. He was able to turn around the beginning of the match. He was having a lot of difficulty there, and he took game one as a consequence.
All right, let's see what kind of bands we have for the for Bars versus uh, Mambo. Looks like Bars has banned FD and PS2. All right, now we're going to be going to Kalos Pokemon League. Interesting. Let's see what uh. If Vars is going to stay Roy, or if uh, he's going to change to Gandorf or to uh, to Pit. Or potentially another character. Nope, he is staying Roy. And Black Mamba is staying Terry. Now, Kalos Pokemon League is a very interesting choice. Uh, it is a very wide open stage. Uh, and it does offer Terry some interesting uh, combos. You can go out a lot further then you would normally be able to due to the platform so you can just jump up there then go down and that gives him a little bit more mobility uh his uh his power geyser obviously is very good against anybody who's trying to camp the platform itself and he's just generally able to uh to maintain stage control but he has to get stage control in the first place an interesting run up <laughs> an interesting shoot by both and uh black mamba barely managing to react first Alright, Bar's maintaining a really good amount of space around him. He's trying to uh He's trying to punish Black Mamba for each time that he does a bad approach, which is very good. Uh Roy is definitely a rushdown character. He can definitely do some crazy things. And he has the mobility to uh just do a lot of uh Oh man, no counter. I guess he wasn't expecting it that time. And a raw buster roll taking the uh getting the hit for Black Mamba there. You see, uh, Bars is definitely trying to scout out some kind of roll, some kind of bad approach, or some kind of, uh... He's trying to see if, uh, Mamba would just kind of run into him, out of fear that the fact that he's running into him, uh, that he's running toward him. Another great parry from Black Mamba. Getting him a... Oh, is that... Alright, that was a very nice use of his resources by Bars, making it back after air dodging away because Black Mambo was threatening space. Alright, Black Mambo taking the uh Black Mambo taking the uh, his first stock of the match. Just like that, we're almost even. Very nicely done by Black Mamba. Roy well, doesn't have any projectiles, so you'd expect Black Mamba to try to force a bit of an aerial approach using um using his neutral B. However, we haven't really seen that much of that. Instead, like, they're really just running up towards each other and they're just trying to take their little pot shots. Uh, but overall. And Bars has been seeing a lot of success with that, but Mamba's starting to turn it around on him. And a really good back air coming out from, uh, from Bars, managing to take the, uh, the second stock. Very well spaced. Sorry about that guys, we had a bit of a TL and stuff to do, so just be a second. Oh man, uh, Black Mamba behind by 66%, but with hits like that, uh, he can potentially bring it back. Oh my goodness, a great jump over, one of the first power waves of the match, and it immediately gets scoped out and punished by Mars. Alright, Mars is looking to finish this, he's trying to get some kind of hit in. That's going to just... That's going to end uh... Oh, dude, another Buster Wolf! Almost tearing through the, uh, the Super. Almost getting him, and... You can see Bars was kind of waiting for that from the beginning. He's waiting for that Buster Wolf. That was, uh... That Buster Wolf approach. And he managed to punish him with an F-Smash for just throwing it out. And just like that, Bars takes a 2-0. Good job, Bars. 
All right, guys. Uh, next up on stream, we're going to have Beast versus Louis Jesus. This is a quarters finals match. And I will be right back. I got to do something. But thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like, favorite, subscribe on our Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, etc. And thank you to everybody who supported House, both the local scene and online. We love you all. I'll see you guys in bed.